Today I want to walk you guys through how we literally plant our brachyria grass. You can plant with your machati or cutlass, which is basically the same way you plant your corn or maize. We here, we use what we call planter. And I want to come and let me show you how the planter looks like. Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa. Today I'm standing on the 100 acres of land. It is very weird when I say 100 acres because all what you see is my background, but I just walk like, you know, all the way entire land and I'm very exhausted, but it's just huge just to even cover the whole thing. But that's not what we're talking about today. A lot of you guys have asked me, how do I plant my brachyria grass? And therefore, today I want to walk you guys through how we literally plant our brachyria grass. And as I said before, you know, you can plant the brachyria grass in two ways. You can nurse them on a bed, right, and leave it to grow. And once it grows, you basically uproot it and then you go and plant it directly onto the land. Or you can do direct planting. There are also two ways of doing direct planting. You can plant with your machati or cutlass, which is basically the same way you plant your corn or maize. We here, we use what we call planter. And I want to come and let me show you how the planter looks like. So basically, this is the planter that we use. And what we do is we put the seeds here. So come over, come closer. So as you can see, there are seeds in here. So you can fill this with seeds and basically cover it. If you come down here, so come down, let's come down. You then see all the seeds here, right? So basically here is it. And what you do is you just push it. And as you push it, come over here. These guys dig the hole and then they drop the seeds inside, right? And basically what happens is after they've dug the hole, this you see here will then cover the hole. And basically that's how we do our direct planting. You can go ahead and plant and then see, right? So yeah, as you guys can see, that is exactly how we do our planting here at the farm. And you know, it doesn't matter even if your soil is not like flat or even if it's a little bit bushy, because as you can see, we just sprayed condemn to kill all the grass and everything, right? And as it is dying, we are planting. So what is gonna happen is that by the time it's completely dead, your um, brachyria grass will now start what? Growing. And this is the machine that we use. If you guys are interested, contact the WhatsApp number below. We have at the agro store. It's called Hand Push Planter. And you can use it to plant your corn. You can use it to plant your um, soya beans, your okra, your tomato seed. Um, we use it just for corn and brachyria grass, right? And it's very effective, right? If, if you're using this to plant, you can go really far, especially if you don't have like stumps and stuff um, on your land. Basically, you just push and you go, right? And it's better even when it's raining, when it's in the raining season, because then, you know, it digs the hole really fast for you, just like it's going, right? Um, if it is dry, then it's definitely gonna be harder. If your soil is um, plowed or maybe tilt, that is even better. It will dig a deeper hole and you'll be able to succeed in it. So that's how we, we normally plant it here. If you wanna do the nursery, then you, know, you need to make sure you tilt your soil, you create the beds, and then again, you sprinkle your brachyria seeds on and get you know, soil, just sprinkle it on. Make sure that it's covered to a, at least an inch. Right, once you have an inch that is covered um, with soil, you just start watering it. You water it once a day. You know, your bra brachyria grass doesn't need too much water. It is actually not gonna grow if it is in a swampy area, right? So you wanna make sure that you don't overwater it. Water it once a day, you know, maybe morning or evening, wait for 24 hours. If you go and the soil is still like very wet, then don't water it again. It will germinate. It mostly takes about seven to 14 days. It will germinate. It depends on the soil. I have planted brachyria grass and in five days it has germinated. Others has taken a bit longer. 
and germinated within seven days or even eight or ten days right so it's totally up to your soil um, but if you nurse it it definitely germinates quicker but then if you nurse it that means that when you transplant it make sure you're cutting the top leaf out right so that you're just planting the stem as well that is also another way to go especially if you're first time planter you want to make sure that you nurse it and you give it the appropriate attention that you need in order to um, let have it you know grown well you know and not lose it to to pests or you know mismanagement so basically that is how we plant it and i'm sure you guys um, have seen it and yeah as i said if you need a planter let us know we have it at um you know at the store and you can come and get some i'm sure eric will be happy um to get you some just contact the whatsapp number below but to us this has been very effective for us and that's what we use and that's why we are sharing this with you guys as well so basically you know if you're new to brachyra grass then you know that i've been importing it from brazil and mexico basically to feed my livestock and the reason why we are always advocating for brachyra grass is because it is the most nutritious grass that you can find it is also drought resistant so if you're in africa where you know we can sometimes not have rains for months then this grass is definitely gonna you know resist that and you'll still be able to have food to feed your livestock aside all the nutrients and every positive thing about this grass i believe every livestock farmer in africa should get their hand on this grass why do i say that because just like I always say, if you go to a community and you want to buy 20 goats, five cows, nobody can sell it to you. Why? Because everybody is doing it on a small scale, you know, backyard farming sort of. And why is that? Because they don't have access to food. So if we can plant this grass and be able to create food, then there will be no limit on how many livestock we can have at our backyard or even at our farm. And that is why we are planting 100 acres of this grass because once we have 100 acres of feed only god knows how many cows i can have because the problem is not me buying the cows or the goats but the problem is if i have you know thousand cows now how am i going to take care of them so without this food we cannot scale the livestock industry and i always say this again when i went to rwanda and there was one household one cow project i loved it because they can plant their grass cut it and come and feed their cows in their house so even wherever you're living and if you have five goats three goats at your house if you have this grass planted at your backyard again you'll be able to feed them so this is even gonna encourage urban farming in the livestock industry as well so that's why we are preaching this if you need some of this grass contact the whatsapp number below um, if you need a planter as well contact us and we'll be able to get you some but um, my goal is that in Africa we will all get some of this grass and save you know our livestock from dying and getting diseases um, in the bush save Fulani herdsmen and community conflicts and so many things guys so that's why we are preaching this and i hope you will take the decision if you're a livestock farmer and end random grazing and end all the conflict that has to do with you know cattle farmers and um, crop farmers so i hope this is helpful thank you guys for watching and we'll see you at the agro store or see you in the next video